Hopefully this is working. I'm gonna try a new location for videos today. Hopefully the lighting in here is a little bit better. I'm in my living room right now instead of my bedroom, so hopefully you can see everything. I wanted to do a quick video. I haven't done a lot of Bath & Body Works videos lately because to be honest with you, um, the last couple of times I've been in there, nothing's really like wowed me. I wasn't the biggest fan of Malibu Heat. I can see where some people would like it, but it was just a little bit, um, too strong for me and so I'm a little bit more excited about the fall stuff I can't wait to find out what they're gonna do last year I thought they really just seemed to at least for me kind of hit it out of the park I loved the back to school pocket bags I thought those were awesome I ended up hoarding quite a bit I actually found some at my grandmother's house yesterday and was really excited um, and I gosh I just the fall stuff last year was awesome all of the i love any kind of fall scent leaves is you know my favorite bath and body work scent and then their pumpkin and the berry one that they came out with last year i just thought were really really cool and the pocket bags all those different pumpkin and the caramel latte and the leaves pocket bag that was awesome and so i'm kind of holding out uh until the fall stuff gets here well and also too because i'm a teacher and you don't really make a lot of money in the summer <laughs> so i'm hoping in fall i'll be able to go and buy some more stuff um and so i'm really looking forward to seeing what they have and the thing that's kind of funny is this time last year i think we had had the chat with camille and different people were reporting about um all the different things, especially for Halloween. There was such a big buzz about the Halloween stuff, which was also awesome. And I'm hoping that sometime soon, since they're having their semi-annual sale, that they will kind of start leaking information about the Halloween and the fall stuff that's coming out. So I'm really excited to see what they have. But today I want to talk to you again about nail polish. I promise I'll do some videos that aren't just about nail polish soon. Um, I've been kind of writing down ideas. I really want to get back into making videos, especially now that it's summer and I have a lot more free time. And actually, I just moved to a different town this year after I got married. And I don't, I know a few people, but I don't really, um, I don't know my way around. And to be honest with you, it's a little lonely. So I'm hoping that doing the videos and kind of finding different topics and things, and I'm going to start doing some more videos with Rochelle too, and hoping to really build this channel up. We'll kind of give me something to do um i'm sure if you've ever moved to a new place or been newly married you know how that goes but anyways i'm rambling i want to show you some of my favorite nail polishes to transition from spring into summer and these are a lot of things that have come out this year i have some old um favorites but i figured since a lot of the things that would be old favorites are things that you would have to kind of search a little harder to find you know go online like to amazon and order colors that haven't just come out and stuff so i tried to pick stuff that would maybe be a little bit easier for people to locate now because it's a little bit newer so the first ones i want to show you well i actually want to show you i like to watch um allison or amariques on youtube her videos i think she just seems like a really sweet person and she talked about the revelon um, the new color stay top. This is the top coat. It's just clear. And then the base coat um, is kind of a milky color. But these come with that new collection that they put out earlier this year. That's supposed to be kind of like shellac. And these, she, I mean, she said, she sang their praises and said they were really amazing. And so I got them because they weren't. I think if you get them, I feel like Walmart has them cheaper than like Walgreens or CVS. It seems like at CVS they were $7.99, but I think at Walmart they were like $4.94. So I would kind of check around because these are definitely worth, um, sorry, I have the hiccups <laughs> paying the money for. It seems like a lot of times I film I get the hiccups. I don't know what that's about. But these are great. And you, of course, you know, you put the base coat on first and then you put two or three coats, I guess, of whatever color. And it does not have to be the Revlon nail polish in order for it to work. And then you put it the color stay top coat on and these are amazing i had on i think it was this color which i'm going to show you here in a minute had on just kind of a bright orange and did it just to kind of test it out i mean and it lasted i didn't even find that i had you know how sometimes when you paint your nails you get that wear on the ends of it 
I didn't even get that and it was like a week and a half before it really even started chipping and mostly that was just where it was growing you know and the nail was starting to show underneath but I cleaned out my garage and I actually took a hand saw and we have some crepe I'm pointing outside because I can see them out the window I we have crepe myrtle and I took the saw and trimmed those down and it didn't chip at all so I mean that's definitely worth the money so I just wanted to show you those really quick but my first favorite is from the new SE Bikini Sotini and it is the Mojito Madness and it's a lot um, it's a lot lighter and brighter than the um, pretty edgy that came out with their spring collection I don't know if that was last year or the year before this one is more of um, another youtuber I feel like it was Miss Jen Fabulous but I'm not sure described this as the same color as the straws that are in Starbucks cups and that's very true it's just a bright green it's definitely not um, not a full-on pastel but it would be closer to that than the pretty edgy wood and it's a lot more wearable than the navigate her that came out with the spring I felt like the navigate her was like an avocado green or a lot of people describe it as like baby poop green and this is not this isn't a grass screen it's lighter than that but it's definitely a nice color it actually to me reminds me of like Girl Scout green and then the next one was from the uh, Electro Pop yeah collection from China Glaze this spring and that's Aquadelic and this is uh, the China Glaze for Audrey's springier more neon cousin it doesn't look in the bottle it looks almost identical to the four Audrey but if you hold them together you'll see that they're quite different I was gonna do that but I can't find mine I think I left it at my grandmother's house but this is almost like a neon on your nails it's very very pretty very good for summer and then the next one is from the spring collection and this is one that I've been wearing on repeat I've been really into orange this year and this is a really pretty red orange that looks really good with nautical stuff called orange it's obvious and that's definitely one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. And that's really the best way I can describe it is it's just a really pretty red orange that's very bright. Uh, not quite a neon, but pretty close. And then my other favorite, favorite is the Bikini Sotini um, from the new SC Bikini Sotini collection. And it is a very pretty, It's I wouldn't describe it as a periwinkle because I feel like, and maybe it's just me, it doesn't have a lot of purple in it. It's much different than the uh, borrowed in blue. The borrowed in blue is like a true pastel and this um, is more of a cornflower blue. I think that's the Crayola crayon <laughs> that looks like this is called cornflower. Not, not so much a periwinkle and it has a very fine, I don't think it's going to show up on camera, but a very fine silver shimmer but you can't really tell when you paint it on your nails. It just looks like a cream but I love that one. And then the next one, I don't have a lot of pinks if you guys have um, any recommendations for like a hot pink or a good bright pink, let me know in the comments below. But I saw on uh, Twitter, and this is embarrassing <laughs> because I'm a huge fan of the Bachelor and Bachelorette shows, and I saw where Emily, the newest Bachelorette, Emily Maynard, wears this color Fiji by Essie. And it's a light pink, but actually when you paint it on your nails, it's a little bit brighter. And it just looks really, it actually makes me look more tan, which is like nearly impossible because I'm so pasty white. But I love, I love this pink and I have a very hard time finding light pinks that flatter my fair skin. And this one I feel like really does that and I, um, I'm just really enjoying it. But they, she said that this is her favorite color that she always gets when she goes to get manicures. But it's just very good, I feel like it'd be very good for a job interview or somewhere where you want to look more polished. And then my next favorites are actually from the MAC um, Beth Ditto collection. There were four nail polishes in this collection and the fourth one I did not get because it was just a regular solid black and I couldn't really justify paying that much money for just a plain black. But MAC's nail polish formula is good if you really um, are somebody that wants a, a black nail polish and you know is willing to pay that much money for it. But the first one is Near Beth Experience. I love I love pastels anyway all the time but I love yellow is one of my favorite colors and it's kind of similar to the China Glaze Lemon Fizz but I think the Lemon Fizz is maybe just a hair brighter but they're pretty close but I really liked that one and actually my uh, Rochelle saw that I got these 
and ended up getting them for herself because she ended up liking them so much. And then the next one is a peach and it's, um, I meant to grab, actually I might have it in my bag. No, I don't. The peachy keen from the China Glaze Up, Up and Away collection. This is a little lighter. It's not quite as orange as that one, but this is Life and Beth, which is a nice pastel peach. And it's another one that when you paint it on looks a little bit darker, but I like that one too. It's again, another color that's kind of um, like neutral or skin tone, but it doesn't wash you out if you're lighter skin. And then the other one is Vagabondage. I think I said that right. And it is a really pretty purple. And I, I was afraid when I got it that it would be close to play date, but as you can see, this one has a lot more pink in it and this one has a lot more purple, but I really like this one. And it looks really pretty on. These all reminded me, my, one of my favorite beauty blogs is the Makeup and Beauty blog. And she had these on her nails and was holding a plastic dinosaur. It's a really cute picture. But it appealed, to, it appealed to the inner child in me with the plastic dinosaur. And these, she pointed out that these look a lot like Starburst. And that's exactly what it makes me think of when it's on my nails. Is it almost are the exact colors of like a pack of Starburst. And then... The next one, you gotta have the mint green because everyone loves mint green, is Refresh Mint from the China Glaze Up, Up, and Away collection, which I personally believe is the best collection they've ever come out with. They've come out with some good ones, but I feel like they have yet to top that one. And then I have a few kind of wild cards from the China Glaze um, Hunger Games collection. I feel like that collection is more for fall, and so a lot of them I haven't worn yet, and I'm kind of waiting until closer, you know, like to September or when school starts when you can kind of start wearing those. I mean, I guess you could wear them anytime, but I am a very seasonal person, so I like to wear light and bright in the summer and kind of the darker, moodier colors in the fall. But I feel like this one, Harvest Moon, you can probably wear it um, in the summer too, where, you know, it's that nice bronzy color, but I like that one. And it looks really good underneath this glitter, which is Electrify. So if you wanted to do this and then make the Electrify your accent nail, I think it's really pretty. And this one, for, which is ironic since today I kind of am dressed like the hamburger, <laughs> but this uh, glitter always makes me think of McDonald's because it's the red and the orange. I know that's ridiculous, but or the red and the yellow, I mean, but it just makes me think of it. And then the last one is some people prefer to wear dark colors all the time and wear them in summer and occasionally I kind of get I always especially towards the middle of summer uh, wish it was fall because fall is my favorite season and summer to be honest with you is kind of my least favorite but I think it's because if you're a teacher in the summer unless you work it's kind of or have kids I guess it's sort of a boring season and so usually about this time I'm like come on fall but this is smoke and ashes and it's a a black and a with like blue and green and maybe a tiny bit of gold glitter. It's a really hard polish to describe, but it's really pretty on because it almost has like a duochrome quality to it and in different light it looks different colors. But that's smoke and ashes and I really love that one. But anyway, I'll let you go before this video is like 14 minutes long and I should have some more stuff for you really soon. And if you have any suggestions of anything you'd like to see, I like to do, um, cooking and crafts and fashion and decorating. So anything like that that you think would um, be appealing, just let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to hearing from you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.